All right, this week we're doing a bit of a thrift flip and I'm gonna show you how I transformed this boring footstool I found for less than $10 into the perfect piece for our living room. Hey, I'm Janelle and this is to DIY for welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. I do new videos every single Wednesday and you know, whether or not you're actually making the stuff, I don't care. Maybe that's just inspiring for you to see what I'm making each week or uh, maybe you are actually tackling it. Share it with your friends if you think that they're interested as well, but just make sure you subscribe and come back every week. Okay, so I have been wanting to get a footstool for our space. We live in a, a a smallish apartment so a couple of key things here I think for this is that it's multi-purpose so the piece that I found was less than ten dollars it's a great sturdy base at the thrift store and it's gonna be easy to cover so those are things to keep in mind if you want to do something like this but I like this one because it has a flat top that could totally double as a little mini table if you needed it to like a side table for a drink it's perfect for an extra seat for guests uh, but also it's gonna be a great footstool so let's get into it all right here's the footstool that i found at the thrift store very basic simple i liked the shape and it had you know good structure so what first you need to do is get some fabric that you want to recover it with i luckily found mine on sale so it wasn't too expensive and i'm actually going to be showing you a no sew version so we're just going to do a rough cut here of a piece of fabric that's going to wrap around just the top i cut out that button too by the way so it doesn't bow in in the center anymore and we're just going to use a staple gun and staple this into place now this is only going to work if you have a footstool that has a wooden base inside of it that you can actually staple it to so I'm gonna kind of go and alternate side to side pull this as tight as I can and try and make sure that there are no wrinkles or very minimum wrinkles I mean it's a it's a round object so it is a little difficult to do but what I've done here is I've stapled really quite closely together and I've gone all around that ridge where I could feel the wood so now I'm going to cut another piece of fabric and it's going to be the length that's kind of gonna wrap around this piece as a tube so I have this piece I'm going to have the bad side facing toward me and this is really important that you do this in the proper way and the proper order and I'm going to staple that now in place all along the top so you want to staple really close together and you want to staple above where those other staples were because when you pull this down it's going to hide the original staples that you did this will create create a stitched look like it will look like you've sewn this together it's really cool I've done a couple of upholstery projects with my mom she's the one who taught me this technique we've done a few chairs in my space and it works really well so I'm going to remove the feet on these. They're not going back on my project, but you're gonna to wanna to remove feet on the bottom of a footstool anyways, because we need to staple it to the bottom. So trim off any excess fabric you have before you pull this down. And look at this, it is such a snug, tight fit. I know I would not be able to recreate this sewing. Uh, you don't have to do nearly the kind of measurements and it works really, really well. So this is um, a little piece that we're gonna deal with a little later but make sure you pull down your fabric all nice and tight and then again staple it to the bottom trying to create no creases and doing your best to get it as tight as possible and here's what we're going to do with this piece I'm going to have a little bit of excess I'm folding it under and then I'm going to pull it as tight as I possibly can and I'm going to staple that in place so what I you can do here to keep it no so is get some fabric glue and glue that together that little seam or you can do a couple of hand stitches which is what I opted to do um, but it's totally up to you and um, I mean it's going to have a seam regardless of what you do so what I wanted to do next is create a little tassel a little extra embellishment I used a piece of cardboard to make sure all of these pieces were the exact same size by wrapping it around and then just sliding in my scissors and cutting them I've attached them all like so to a long strand of yarn and then I also created a couple of pom-poms so those are going to be tied on to the ends of this when I'm done so as you can see it really is a nice seam and you could totally leave it like that but if you feel like you want to cover it up or add a 
little something to it, you can do this. So I'm just going to tie this around and I have tied in my pom poms as well. And then I'm going to continue to add on those tassels. If you want to make this more permanent, you can glue it into place or you can just leave it tied on like that. So really it is that easy to reupholster a footstool without any sewing. I love this technique that my mom taught me with the staple gun. It really comes down to the order in which you do things. So you need to think it through first and you can kind of create what looks like seams. Let me know what you thought of this thrifted DIY and don't forget to subscribe. I will be back next Wednesday with a new one.